Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Bolly Crusader and U4 and I think we're going to declare war on uh, Muscovy today. So we'll stop stopping that and all uh, preventing the rebellions there. Or rather drilling that and then we're going to we'll keep this uh, more suppressing rebellions still for the time being. Actually, how big an army does Muscovy have? I don't think it's very large. Okay, it's 40,000, but they're mostly out of manpower already. Now, we do have this army here, which we could actually stop drilling now. And we could use the transport to transport over here, because what I have in mind is Leclerc War on Muscovy. Baron Hamburg Cleves Muscovy, then they have the trade league of. He's bearing. Bregenz, Goslar, Bremen, and Nansbach. Okay, um. But what I was thinking is maybe vassalizing Lubeck. Oh, Seatham died. Oh, that's unfortunate. Speaking of which, oh, he was over here. Um, I'll actually move in a new general over here, so that's going to be probably Unsung actually. Oh, the Wrangel. Oh, yeah. Um, Unsung D. Ooh, and uh, we reached the next level of professionalism. Excellent. May rebuild garrisons and standardize uniforms. Well, land maintenance goes up a little bit, but drill gain modifier, I'll take that. Right, so Anzang is actually a pretty good leader. Once we get uh, Jody's troops here, we'll be good to go, I think. Oh, right, I wanted to upgrade these ships in night. They've been sitting there for probably a few years now. Although I did want to get the... Well... I don't remember how good the... Dale's Wall Casabelli is. I honestly don't remember. I suppose we'll find out. But we can find that one out after this war because... We've got troops. We can easily... Kind of start a war here. So we can probably take you over there already, and then Muscovy. Lubeck would join, Munster would join. If we call in you, Premier Hamburg and Cleves, I mean, I could probably do that. That means that I could potentially take Lubeck a little bit cheaper as a vassal. Basically, what I plan on doing is getting Lubeck as a vassal, then I can start feeding the Lubeck trade note to them. Let them have the hegemony in trade there, and I'll just get their money. Right, so we do have a decent bit of troops, especially it doesn't factor in Bremen, Hamburg, or Cleves, and it might bring in their. Hmm. I might be taking a bit more than I can do here, but I'm gonna try this. It is Iron Man, so if we can't go back, but it's. Well, I mean, technically we could, but I don't wanna do that. But I think we're gonna win this. Let's have a look. Who joins on the enemy side? If anyone. Okay, Anson, you're going to march into Lübeck. You probably... Ooh, Magdeburg is blocking the way. Can't go through Bohemia either. They haven't gotten any of the other allies yet. The Munster would be over there, we can't quite get there. We're not blockading them, they can't actually enter through here now. Right, well, maybe we should focus on the eastern front in the meanwhile. I'm currently seizing down some of the... Wait, where are they going? Oh, they're walking back a little bit. Mordred was pretty good at siege, so I'm going to send you to their capital, actually. Well, first, let's siege down Morum. Probably call back the Swedish diplomat or the diplomat in Sweden. Wismar, is that forest? It is woods, but uh, we got the discipline advantage. We got pretty good shock. We got the <laughs> morale advantage, tactics advantage. Probably higher tech even. Yeah, one point higher tech. Um, I'm gonna see down Wismar and then Lübeck. Lübeck is pretty strong, to be fair. 
a five board. I mean, it's not as big as it could be, but it's still quite substantial. Well, let's go to Nitin Novogor. You can go to Vetluga. Keep an eye on. Ooh, actually, the army's out there. That's two three star generals. That's not bad. Other than have pretty high shock, but they are behind in tech. It's Kazoo. Kazoo can seed a little bit, and they do have the cannons now. In decent numbers. Speaking of cannons. I'll be deceasing that area. If they try to attack us here, then we can gather up our troops. Now getting there is probably all the way around here, and then from there... So I'm not going to even try that. Once we get the capital, we'll go after those armies. In the meanwhile, here in the west, let's go to Lübeck. It is a starport. Actually... Wait, starport? I thought it said level 5. Oh, they're building a star for it. Okay, well, I can stop there. Also, Trushel. Maybe one in Novgorod. I wonder how much I can actually get from them in this war. Probably a fair bit, actually. There we go. Right, time to go to Ryazan. We'll have the up and hand in numbers as well as troop quality. Oh, Mamluks and Ottomans are fighting again. Of course they are. Somebody is going to be stacked. We should be getting there relatively quickly. And we shall be catching their army. They're bringing the other army to help. But that's not going to be enough, I don't think. Especially with Mordred uh, leading our army. Yeah, that's not going to be a stack wipe, but that's quite bloody affair still. They lost over 13,000, I lost uh, a bit over 5,000. Okay, Kazoo, you can go there, you can start going after Penza. Which we're actually making into a core still. Whoops. But yeah, we beat down the army over there. How's the situation in the west? Lubeck is under siege. Oh, hello. Um, let's get the siege down quickly, shall we? They haven't called in... Oh, actually, they have called in re reinforcements now. But still, the total numbers are well in my favour. Right, you can go probably over there. This can go to Alatur. They're moving their armies to the north, which they usually do. Could become the defender of Bay again. At some point, I would probably do need to do that. Just haven't bothered yet. Deus Vault. It's going to give us a few more policies that we can take. Missionary strength, goods produced, or oh, unrest and missionary strength. I think what I want to take the Kush produced and morale of armies and siege ability is going to be rather useful. There we go. Now we're going to focus on catching up in tech again. Or rather in admin tech, to be precise. Holy War catches better against the Ottomans and Great Horde. Plenty of heresy against uh, Sweden, Poland, Bohemia, Mecklenburg, Volga, Stettin. Hold on, so was it the... The Global Crusade, right, so that's going to give it to pretty much everyone. Now let's actually have a quick look. If I was to declare on Lithu... No, I can't declare that on Lithuania. What about Poland? Yes, Poland is an option. So let's have a look at the Cleansing of Heresy. Accuracy expansion, 75% from all provinces for and forced conversion. Twice the prestige and the same cost. Okay, so it will lower the AE at least a little bit, so it will allow us to expand a fair bit. I sent this army to take care of the Lübeck and Cleves army while we seize down Lübeck itself. Right, so where is the army? It's over there. I'm just mortared that way. 
Oh, actually, it's sitting over there. Let's go to Kazan then. We can seize down Kazan quickly, then we can go after that army. And they can do. Okay, they're running away. Scared, maybe? Uh, we should probably get some more manufactories. All the extra income, and another one of those. Oh man, we start pretty high there. Let's use a bit more points. Okay, another core, excellent. Now, can we get this siege done on the first tick? Nope. Oh well. So they do have a fair bit of armies there, but now that we got the fort over here, they can't just walk through all the way here and try wreaking havoc over there instead. Oh right, uh, they... Oh, I see. They stepped aside a little bit. Well, we, we can catch them there, most likely. They are on a fort. A fort that they can't really win. They won the siege of Kazan in 49 days. So we did win it in the second tick. Actually, let's start sending in troops there. Uh, we sank the fleet there. Okay, blockade efficiency. Nice. Quickly watch this battle, then we'll send in the second army. Oh, yep. That was a stack wipe. Double stack wipe, actually. Oh, are they moving in here? Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, Ansling, I trust you can hold that ground there. In the meanwhile, actually, we can seize down this province before we send in the troops north. So, I mean, the, the enemies are still trying to seize down that one. We'll get there in time, most likely. Okay, um, can we get this army there in time? Force march. It's gonna be... No, I don't think we can. Alright, so I'm gonna get there, stop the force march. Oh, we lost a theologian, that's unfortunate. Can we get a tax modifier guy? No, there is a production efficiency. Or oh, another unrest. I think I'm going to take the production efficiency this time. Right, so once we get this army back to strength, we should be alright. With these two armies, I'm pretty sure that we can beat them. We'll keep the stronger army there, holding the ground first. And we do have the battle going in here. Oh my! <laughs> Stacked right, what? Is that 25,000 men? Something like that. Alright then. Well done, more red. Okay, uh, support organization. Where's our Lubeck occupied this tomorrow? Are they go yeah, they're going to the Lubeck again. Can we block them in there? We can. We'll seize down Vismar again, let this army recover a tiny bit, and we stack about 2,000 artillery. Or oh, artillery men, rather. Right, time to go back to... Oh, Lubeck wants a uh, truce. We'll convert to Catholic. Ooh, well, I mean... Yes and no. Uh, Lubeck. Can I get you as a vassal? I could. That would be a coalition of uh, Sweden and Muscovy. Not that bad, actually. Can I convert you? Ooh, I could. Maybe take a tiny bit of cash? They would actually accept that. Okay, then. Yeah, they lost their trade league. I'm not surprised. They are still a trade republic, aren't they? Well, they are a republic, but I'm not sure about the trade republic. Possibly. Uh, we caught an army, they're sending in reinforcements, but it's probably a bit too little, too late. Oh man. <laughs> we started with 20,000 men, we ended with 17,000. Let's start seizing Hamburg, I suppose. Oh, what? Okay, can we? No, okay. Just go into the siege then. For some reason, Lubeck doesn't like me though. I wonder why. It's not like I converted them or something and vassalized them forcefully. 
Right, so Muscovy lost their armies, essentially. So it's mostly the allies that are now in the war. Of which I'll probably just take money right now, but eventually I'll start feeding some of the lands to Lübeck. Okay, convert another province. Actually, we've got plenty of points here. We don't need the prestige. Maybe the blue reputation would be a decent one at this point, and maybe some mercantilism. Speaking of which, how much mercantilism do we have? We got 33%. Okay, I, I was actually expecting a bit more, actually. I'll leave one of these to siege. It's actually, yeah, Anson can siege down a little bit better, so I'll let you stay there while Jody will go after these armies. Nice it's forests uh, or woods rather, so they do get the defensive bonus there, but it's not going to save them. I didn't even consolidate the regiment because I knew that I don't need to. And that's the stack wipe. Excellent. Let's have a look at the total casualties. We lost 36,000, uh, nearly half of which has been from attrition. Well, I don't know, about a third. Somewhere, like, uh, anyway, it's a fair bit that is from attrition. They've gotten 6,000 from attrition. They've lost about twice the truce. Actually, a bit, a bit more than twice the truth that I have. Not that I'm surprised, to be fair. Not that I'm surprised. Right, well, let's start increasing relations with uh, Lübeck in the meanwhile. I wonder, does Lübeck have any claim? Well, they do have a claim on Mecklenburg. At least two of them, actually. Three. Three claims on Mecklenburg. They do have a claim on Denmark as well. Is Denmark allied to, allied to Poland? Well, that's not an issue. Although, getting to Denmark. Although, I think I'll give uh, pretty much all of this to Lübeck anyway. Somewhere down the line. It's going to take a while, I think. At this point, I think I can break my alliance with Hungary. That's going to keep uh, Bohemia a lot happier. Because keeping the Emperor happy is uh, pretty good. Especially... Con oh, is Lunaberg... No, 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 no. Oh, wait. Oh, Brandenburg's capital is now here. Oh, boy. Right, how's the war going in the east? Uh, we can see a little bit of troops there. Okay, so there might be some rebellion soon. Um, Hamburg wants out of the war. So who else are we fighting? Münster Cleaves. Bremen. So, Bremen, Munster, and Cleves. Okay, that's a bit of a trip. Uh, I'm gonna send these to repair actually in Wismar. I think they are still... Oh, hello. I suppose I'll just go around there then. I can return here. Okay, never mind. Look good, Brennan. Get that siege going once we get this siege done. I mean, technically I could be out Hamburg already if I want to. They would not give me anything, so I'll have to wait. Freedom of the press. Ooh. I suppose I can take a tiny bit of unrest there. They are, of course, free to write how amazing our nation is. Yeah, so there is going to be a rebellion in the east soon. So we need to get rid of this 
war probably before that. Oh, I could send Kazoo over there to get rid of that threat and then split this in half and start sieging down a bit more. I'm guessing the enemy, well, they have built a little bit more troops again. But, would, uh, no, we haven't seized down anything there yet. And I want to get war reps from all of these. Well, everyone that I can. Like, well, at least Bremen and Hamburg, let's put it that way. How far ahead are we in Miltech? Ah, uh, 15 years, okay, so we've got plenty of points. Except we... Oh, we already breached the walls there. I suppose what I could do is I could send my fleet down... Oh, Hamburg has been seized. Send my fleet down there to speed things up a tiny bit. Can I get up there? Nope, not without a transport. Okay, so I suspect that they are willing to give me money. Indeed they are. Okay, I think I'm going to send this army all the way home. While we seize down Bremen. Which honestly, shouldn't take too long. Because we got the fleet here. We got a pretty good siege. Well, we got a decent siege ability. It's not that great, but... Well, actually, Premier's Walls gives them 25%, which is the only thing keeping them positive right now. Right, so how's the war in the east? Let's see, a little bit of troops here and there. Mortar, you're going to go start seizing down that one while the other army... Oh, they do have another army moving up there, but let's work on the rebellion potential there. Oh, they don't even have enough troops to actually seize it down. Ha ha ha. And now they're not going to have that army soon. As I said. Okay, um... Muscovy is reoccupying all that. Can I... I wonder, how much could I take from them now? Ooh, that would be a lot of A and overextension as well. But at the same time, we do need to take as much as we can. If we don't take Kazan, we could take maybe something over here. We probably don't need their money. That would be a coalition of uh, ooh, Ottomans. Okay, maybe I don't want to take that one then. Instead, give me as much as money as you are willing to give, which is actually not that much. Okay, I think I'll take that. Wait, that says the Ottomans are still joining it. Okay, uh, well, if I don't take that one either. Oh, come on. Okay, that would bring no Ottomans. What if I take more over there? Does that bring any Ottomans? No, I don't think so. So the more we take in the north, the less the Ottomans care about it. Okay, that would bring the Ottomans again. And if I take away all the cash... Maybe I don't take that one. Okay, I'll go with, well... Maybe a few hundred? Okay, 100 tuckets from them. We lost 50,000 men, they lost 100,000. Sounds about right. I we'll have an army there, we have this army here. You will continue expanding your suppression zone here a little bit. So we will take care of that one as well. Then Mordred can take care of that area for the time being. And yeah, then we need to pull in this army back. And bring in the fleet back here. Right, I suppose we could protect trade a little bit. On the other hand, what well, could be private here? English Channel, yeah, let's go there. Uh, we have a bit of an overextension problem. 
It's only 86% to be fair, but it's still pretty high, especially we need to get that admin text as soon as possible, but we are working on that. Right, but we are unfortunately out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you have it already. Also, check out the links down below in the description, but other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.